What happened to Erica and Sean Whalen isn't unusual during this pandemic. Traditionally, weddings are a time when friends and family come together to celebrate couples. But with COVID-19, wedding planning has come to a screeching halt. Or has it? I like to use the word postpone or delayed because really, you know, what we're seeing is that couples are not canceling their big day. They still really do want to get married. Many of those couples are pivoting to smaller celebrations, but a reduced guest list often means the awkward task of uninviting guests, says Zola's Emily Forrest. Uninviting is definitely a tough topic, right? Because nobody wants to uninvite guests from their wedding and nobody wants to be uninvited. Guests need to make sure that they understand that no matter how the communication comes to them and no matter what the message is, that you know it's the couple doing their best to accommodate for all the CBC guidelines, but still get married. More couples are choosing intimate church weddings, socially distant celebrations with family members, and micro weddings at larger venues. We just wanted our wedding to always be fun. Alina Levine and her fiance, Travis Slosinski, knew they had to change plans and book their micro wedding at the Boston Harbor Hotel. It's a beautiful option. The 10 person weddings are held in the hotel's presidential suite, complete with 4,800 square feet of living space and a 1,000 square foot balcony overlooking Boston Harbor. The suite usually books for $15,000 a night, the most expensive suite in Boston. But the wedding packages start at $5,000, says Director of Operations John Collings. Um, it's going to be an intimate experience. It's going to be much more personal. And in the end, I think just as memorable as the traditional wedding, maybe in a different way. The package includes a ceremony on the balcony, champagne reception with appetizers, wedding cake, and flowers from Winston's. And if a couple wants to splurge... For $10,000, you have your ceremony, champagne reception, dinner in the suite, stay overnight, and brunch the next morning. These are some examples of some past hors d'oeuvres that Chef Bruce does. We've got uh, a Jonah crab salad, lobster medallions oh. uh, with uh, caviar and a sweet corn latke. Uh, we've got yellowfin tuna with a miso essence served on a crostini. I think that we should do a tasting I think so. for the brides and grooms out there just to get an idea of what you can get here at the Boston Harbor Hotel. For couples looking for a more rustic celebration that can accommodate more than 10 people, a scenic option lies at Birch Hill Farm. Owner Marianne Barron launched the farm's version of tiny weddings to help COVID couples. Some of the brides had already gone through a year of planning their wedding somewhere else and they didn't want to have to do it again. They don't have to think about it because they already did. The barn is nestled in New Hampshire's Lakes region. Everything in the barn dates back to the 1790s. Truly, down to the last nail. Every window, pane, floorboards. In fact, all of my tables are made from leftover floorboards. The tiny wedding package costs couples just over $13,000. Everyone gathers on the front lawn. We have a 20-minute ceremony. Then you go right into the first dance and a toast. It includes two hours of photography an hour of live stream if you want it. Uh, that way for anyone that couldn't make the ceremony, they can watch it live. Uh, otherwise, you can flip that over to an hour of video. And then it's dinner for 50. Flowers are included and the couple can dance the night away to their own curated playlist. It met all of the COVID criteria for the governor. You still have both spaces, so it didn't feel it felt very festive for them. It didn't feel like they were being punished. A common theme with those helping Corona couples, says Emily Forrest. I think um, one of the number one rules is that couples shouldn't be penalized in any way because they've had to change their plans. Again, it's not really their choice. They're doing it pr to protect themselves and to protect the safety of their guests. So couples still deserve to have you know, an amazing day. Couples are really planning week to week as COVID-19 restrictions change. As a result, vendors are scrambling to accommodate the adjusted celebrations. We spoke with a hair and makeup vendor who had 38 weddings booked for 2020. That number went down to just 10. You can blame COVID-19 for that. But there is some good news. Vendors say couples are booking for 2021 and 2022 wedding dates. Next, roommates, romance, and quarantine. A delicate dance. Oh.